Hi, my name's Oliver Joris uh, and I work for Ford Motor Company in the product development department as a gasoline calibration engineer. At Dunton Campus, we're responsible for the design and development of the transit and gasoline engines up to 1.5 litre. I personally work on onboard diagnostics, specialising in continuous component monitoring. My grandfather and uncle were mechanics, uh, so as I grew up I watched them repair and restore classic vehicles. Uh, I decided as a child that I wanted to be a car designer, but actually as I grew up I became more interested in the intricacies of, of how they functioned, so I decided to become an engineer. My degree gave me uh, all sorts of skills uh, in uh, engineering, mainly knowledge, uh, building on foundations in physics and maths. Uh, but what I found when I started working in engineering was that engineering is so much more than that. Um, there, there are all sorts of challenges and all sorts of skills that you need to develop as an engineer. Uh, my work as an engineer so far has, has taught me about teamwork, whether that be from section meetings to global process improvement meetings. Um, it's taught me the importance of documentation and traceability, uh, sharing information ethically, uh, for example, sharing anomalous data that you can't quite explain yet, um, or by protecting data where necessary to protect a commercial advantage. Chartership with the IMACI is a stamp of approval from an institute that is recognized and respected worldwide on their engineering prowess. A chartered engineer is not just knowledgeable, but proven to be competent, ethical, and effective. When filling in the application process, I was particularly fortunate that Ford um, encourages and supports you to note down um, any events or achievements for your career progress reviews. And so I had a neatly summarized list uh, of achievements uh, that I could put into my form. That combined with a workshop hosted by the IMACI on application completion meant that I spent a few evenings before the workshop then a day in the workshop and a few evenings afterwards before sending my form off for a pre-submission check. Um, after a few corrections, I then sent that off for submission, so it was uh, quite painful for me. In an attempt to work on my competencies and to encourage engineering, uh, I'm a member of the IMAC Automobile Division Essex Centre uh, and the Eastern Region Committee. As part of those committees, we organise technical lectures uh, and presidential events, uh, which has allowed me to network with engineers from all around the world who are pushing the boundaries of what's possible. I've had the pleasure of co-hosting engineers who've worked on projects ranging from revolutionary aerospace engines to Apollo mission control engineers to Concorde and Blackbird pilots uh, to lead directors of vehicle programs, just anything you can think of. Um, these are people that I would not get to meet if it wasn't for the INACI. And meeting these people and seeing what they've achieved not only repeatedly reminds me that I chose the right career, but it inspires me to want to achieve more. I would encourage you to get involved, whether it be by volunteering at a careers fair or joining a committee or even just going to events and asking good questions. The IMICI only works as a concept if it remains a bunch of people who are passionate about engineering talking about engineering. During my interview, that's exactly what we did. I went in, sat with two engineers who were obviously interested in what I did. So we talked about it till we ran out of time and I had to go because the next person had to come in. Engineering is a very broad discipline, so find something that you're passionate about and then share your passion with like-minded people.